Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we are hopefully doing one of our final things for celebrations. Um, I love celebrations, don't get me wrong. Uh, but honestly, I am also ready for something new. Uh, I know everybody has been opening some Fusion Strike lately, uh, getting some of uh, the pre-release product. Uh, I'm looking to get a lot of my stuff coming in on the near the 12th uh, on, on release date. So hopefully uh, look out for those. Um, uh, for those future openings. Uh, but today, we are going to look at the collector's chest. Uh, this is the um, one of the items uh, for celebrations that came out. Uh, I think some people were able to get them when they first came out. They were supposed to come out, I think, a couple weeks ago, but they were like delayed. Um, but uh, now they've, they've been released. Um, uh, and they they should be uh, out in stores at your local your local game stores your card shops and then I believe at big retail stores now too. So I've been seeing a lot of people picking these up. Uh, so I was able to grab one. Uh, excited to see what's inside uh, and hopefully um, get some cards we are missing. Uh, we are missing a quite a bit of Mewtwo cards. Uh, I'll pull it up here. Uh, during our last video when we opened up the premium collection, we got the the Shining Magic Carp and the Dark Gyarados. So one of the things we are missing now, I believe, is still the Charizard and the Umbreon, the two top, the top two cards, as well as I believe we're still missing like the Tapu Lele and the um, the Rockets, uh, not the Rocket, I mean, or here comes Team Rocket, one of the Team Rocket cards, and then. Uh, uh, I think we're missing the Zekrom. We have Reshiram, but we're missing Zekrom. But uh, oh, hopefully we can hit some of the cards. I know this one doesn't come with too many. It only comes with, it comes with the three foil cards you have here. The Hydreigon, the Mimikyu, and the Light Toxtricity. Uh, these are uh, promo cards with celebrations, helps complete the master set. Again, I think I'm only missing the, Dag the, the Dagapult, so the Dagapult Prime, so I need to uh, get my hands on that one. But this comes with the three foil cards. Looks like a six celebration uh, booster packs and then two additional booster packs, uh, and then some other some other little goodies inside. Uh, so we will crack open this, do uh, see what we get, uh, and do a little look at uh, what's inside this collection tin. And uh, yeah, so be sure to uh, again drop a like on the video. Uh, and uh, hit that subscribe button for uh, for more openings. Again, I'm looking forward to Fusion Strike, uh, getting something new. I, those all arts uh, are incredible. I really hope we hit something once with the, the Fusion Strike uh, product comes in. Uh, and then leave a comment below. What do you think of this collector's chest? Uh, it looks pretty cool. And then, uh, yeah, let me know what, keep me updated on, on, on your pull rates for celebrations. All right, uh, let's, well, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get this thing open. All right, we got the collector's chest unwrapped. Uh, let's go ahead and open this. Uh, similar to the style of the Eevee lunchbox you can see back here. Uh, just different design for the 25th anniversary. All the starters here on the on the tin. It does look. I think this looks so much more uh, so much more cooler. Uh, might replace the tin here with the Eevee, even though you know Eevee is a fan favorite. But this has all the starters on it, so uh, definitely definitely something cool. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get this open and see what we have. Oh, things are just falling out there. Uh, all right, and we got the one, two, three, four, five, and I believe this will be six. There you go, six celebrations packs. And then we got the. There's supposed to be three of these, I believe. Oh no, two. I believe it was two. Yeah, two booster packs. Looks like we got a battle styles and a vivid voltage. Nice. And then we have the the tin code and then these are the goodies that comes with it here are the three cards oh cards wow that looks actually really clean the Mimikyu looks really cool has a gold border and then you have the high dragon C there and then I like Dr. City and it comes with this coin cool and I think we'll put this here on the side See what else we have in here. I believe these are st some stickers. That's cool. I think the uh, same thing, just like the Eevee tin that came with some cool things. All right. 
So we have the mini portfolio for celebrations as well as some stickers. That's cool. My kids would love that. And oh, more stickers. And a notepad, I believe. So this is cool. Yeah, notepad. And inside is the contents descriptions of all the the Pokemon of the, each card. That's cool. I love those little descriptions of the reasoning they put these cards into in, into the celebration set. And yeah, that's the ten. Uh, a lot of room, good good storage for, for a lot of things. I always like just having these displayed just like I do with the EV10. So probably we'll put that like right there. And maybe replace it or maybe add to it, replace it here and just have two tins. But uh, look for that and probably do some rearranging in terms of the background for, for future videos. Uh, all right, I think but the, the main thing is the packs. Uh, we can come again with six celebrations packs as well as two uh, regular booster packs. Uh, so let's go ahead and get crack these open and see what we pull. I think we'll start uh, with the booster packs and we'll get these out of the way. So we'll do, we'll do uh, battle styles first. I, open them. I think I opened my fair share of battle styles, so uh, hopefully get something good. All right, we have a Grass Energy, Morpeko, Doeblade, Cheryl, Tepig, Glamyow, Silly Cobra, Frillish, Houndour, Reverse Hollow Cubone, and just a Salazzle. All right, and then we have the Vivid Voltage. Oh, Grass Energy, and both of them start off with Grass Energy. Sublime, Galvantula, Gogoat, Picky Peck, Chutel, Riolu, Chemeco, Ninkeda. Wow, ooh, a Reverse Hollow Vaporeon. That's cool. And, ooh, a Magnetric. Nice. So, nothing out of the, the extra packs. So, not too exciting. Um, again, is our you know hit or miss, um, but again, the, the, I think when you get these celebrations, you hope to see what you get from celebrations. All right, now without further ado, let's crack open our first pack for celebrations. Again, I'm missing the Charizard, the Umbreon, and the Tapu Lele. I think those are kind of now my top three cards. Uh, got the shiny Magikarp in the last uh, the opening of a premium collection, so we'll see what we get here. And some Galeo, so nothing in the first pack. And then pack number two. I mean, open plenty of celebrations, so at this point it's just waiting to hit my chase cards. I'm probably gonna start just opening these packs on the side um, and just seeing what we're getting. Research. Because I think at this point, if I'm like any of you who've been watching a lot of the videos, there's been enough, I think, on a lot of celebrations out there already. Uh, it's nice to see what other people pull. Uh, but again, uh, my, our, my, my goal is to try to complete the master set. There's a reason why I keep pulling celebrations, but I, didn't, I can do that on my side while, while we focus on, on uh, other expansions. But yeah, so three out of three packs so far, nothing much. Um, <laughs> Hopefully we get something. Otherwise, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we really want to end on just not really pulling anything out of any of the packs out of this collector tin. So here, this pack number four. Xerneas. Oh my... <laughs> yes! We got it! We got the Umbreon Gold Star. Oh man, as... I was about to just 
you you have no idea. The couple of chase cards, the the Tazar and Umbreon, I've really just been so hard to pull, and wow, this card. I mean, in per looking at it in person, this card looks so nice. Might have a little whitening on the top there. Uh, I'm going with the research. But yeah, we'll put this down, and yeah, there's a little bit of tit chip of the car looks like it got cut a little bit wrong there and the centering's not great but it's still it's a card to help complete the collection i am sure oh wow that looks so good oh, let's let's stop talking at this thing sleeve um yeah i am super stoked we got the umbrian gold star folks that's a pretty card. All right, two more packs to go. Um, I'm gonna count this 10 as a win. I mean, even if we don't pull anything out of these loose two packs, the fact that you just got the Umbreon Gold Star uh, is a win in my book. Um, so let's finish these off. We got a Palkia, a Reshiram, a Groudon, and a Lunala. And last celebrations pack, we got all right, Xerneas, Ivatel, Zekrom, and the Mew. So only one hit out of all these packs, and the hit just happens to be that Umbreon. Uh, not, not even mad. I mean, uh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. But yeah, just, just keep looking at this card and I'm super happy that we pulled it. Um, I'll probably, uh, we'll leave this here. I don't have to do too much of a recap again the, with the collector chest and the contents, but I kind of don't want to end it with just pulling the Umbreon. So I actually have a few booster packs here uh, that I just happened to snag and uh, let's just uh, open them and see what we get. All right, uh, again, didn't want to end on the note. I mean, getting the Umbreon was still cool, but I, I think we should at least try to get another hit somewhere. So I do have a stack of booster packs that I was able to, uh, that I got sleeves for on the side. We're gonna be pulling about uh, three battle styles uh, three Chilling Rain, and then three packs of Evolving Skies. And hopefully out of these nine packs, we get a, at least one more hit, right? I mean, the the all the cards we got from Celebrations just getting the Umbreon. I mean, it's cool getting just the Umbreon, but we need more hits than that. So we'll kind of end and top this video off with opening these last additional packs and hopefully get something cool over here. Start with battle styles. And who do we get? Water energy, Grumpig, Bruxish, Scroll of Scorn, Spoink, Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Yamper, Lickitung, Ooh, a reverse Hollow Cedra, and a Victory Bell. All right, and then battle styles number two. Yeah, I, I just keep staring at the Umbreon because I just can't believe we pulled it. All right, we got a Grass Energy, Luxio, Scupa, Single Strike Mustard, Galarian Slowpoke. Cacnea, Spoink, Zubat, Remoraid, Yamber, Reverse Hollow, and an Octillery Hollow Rare. Cool. All right, so we got one Hollow Rare. All right, we'll open Battle Styles number three. Still nothing, nothing too exciting. I mean, the Hollow Rare technically is a hit if you want to count it, but we're looking for something something cooler 
something to go, wow. Grass energy, escape rope, tower of waters, Luxio, Spoink, Bronzor, Tepig, Pachirisu, Mianfu, Reverse Hollow Phoebe, and a Drampa. All right, so only a hollow rare from the battle styles. Now on to Chilling Rain. I mean, hopefully something out of these nine packs because so far out of three, just nothing. All right, Chilling Rain. Let's rain some hits. Rain in some hits. Water Energy, Celio, Melanie, Whirlipede, Cabrawler, Grookey, Scorbunny, Aaron, Snow Runt, Reverse Hollow Cast Form, and a Banette. Alright, Chilling Rain number two. Uh, a dark energy. Wedding weeding gloves. Avery, the Laffy, Ladyba, Gallet, Clobopus, Cast Form, Hatena, Reverse Hollow Coughing, and a Swast Buck. Oh man, I think this is just gonna be one of those videos where you just don't hit anything. I mean, and that, and that happens sometimes. I mean, you're you're bound to run into situations or run into openings where you're. I mean, if you count everything here, the Umbreon kind of covers everything because of the rarity of that hit. But still, um, you just hope to at least hit something uh, when you're opening a good amount of packs. And when we have these nine in addition to the two regular boosters we've opened earlier and to not really hit anything it's just uh i guess just that's just the luck of that day uh and honestly um reverse hollow hunter uh not not too upset um if if, if uh getting my bad luck out of the way just so i can get that umbreon it's that, that's cool too so nothing out of those chilling ring packs so hopefully something out of, of all these guys. All right, we got three more packs to go to see what we get. Now hitting an Umbreon out of Evolving Skies would be kind of cool, but yeah, I, I think uh, out of Evolving Skies, one of my high cards is, a, is an Umbreon V full art. So that was pretty cool when I, when I pulled that out of Umbre uh, Evolving Skies. Reverse Hollow Flaffy. Ooh, and a Regulicky. Hollow Rare. All right, so that's out of the first Evolving Skies pack. Evolving Skies pack number two. Yeah, I, I, I got the uh, the All Mart Duralls on VMAX too out of Evolving Skies. But one of the things I want to, obviously one of the chase cards out of Evolving Skies is to get the, the Evolutions Alt Art. But uh, hoping to get the uh, a booster box of Evolving Skies to hopefully get my another crack at getting alt arts. Powdon and a Garbodar V. Nice. I call that a hit. Cool. Something we can add to the set. I am not, I am missing Gardevoir. Or Gar Gardevoir, Garbodor. So that's cool. All right, we'll go ahead and open this last Longing Skies pack. Let's see what we get. All right, last pack. Dark Energy, Coffee Cats, Ice Q. Rapid, scroll, scroll, oh, rapid Strike, Scroll of Flying Dragons, Slack Off, oh, there we go, Petalil, Pikachu, Pumpkaboo, 
Rufflets, Reverse Hollow Molga, and Torpedo. All right. So, uh, just two hollow rares and a Garbard, Garbard RV. But again, the highlight of the show is the Umbreon. I still can't believe we pulled the Umbreon. I am super stoked. But yeah, that does it for this video. Uh, the collection tin turned out pretty well. I mean, this is the only hit out of the tin. But if you're gonna get one hit out of something, it has to. It, it, you have to have it as the top cards. Uh, yeah. Again, uh, thanks for watching, folks. Look out for future future opening videos. I think the next coming ups are most likely going to be Fusion Strike. I might have another video drop in between then. But uh, yeah. Uh, let me know uh, about your, everyone else's uh, your pulls. What your thoughts about Fusion Strike? What you guys are looking forward to? And uh, yeah, be sure to, leave, again, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear everyone's thoughts. Um, again, thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, see ya!